YouTube family. You dig what I'm saying? We got some more breaking news to speak on this right quick. I don't think y'all ready to prepare for this, but we got to speak on it, bro. Allegedly, former pre-artists and alleged current pre-artists don't know how true it is, but we about to shake and bake and get on with this. The internet been going brazy, connecting the dot, showing who allegedly got rid of who, killed who, or whatever they want to call it, bro. It's a lot going on with this, bro. And it's a lot of pre-artists and former pre-artists being connected to this. Man, these dudes got a lot of their pre-chain on and got a whole lot going on. And I don't know if they rocking with, you know, the man like that or they like his vibes because now I see videos of them clearly dissing Dolph. I ain't gonna cap. Clearly going out the way to say the most. So we gotta look at it like that on some Bobby Boucher type ish. Now we gonna get in tune with all that. We gonna pay attention to who been what, you know, doing the most out here, bruh. Before we do it, I need y'all to hit that like button, that notification bell. Rock out with DJ Bless One. And let's look at this alleged backdoor situation and see what it's really for, if it's just for the Manolo, man. Right now, I'm about to pay these bills, folks. Thanks for watching, like, share, comment, and subscribe to DJ Bless One and I Smoke Hip Hop Live. As you seen here, it's a lot of artists prepared to crash out over, I mean, nothing, bro. You got so many artists here for the Young Dolph situation being getting accused for even things that's kind of less and things that's more, bro. Dudes don't know what's really going on out here. And a lot of people confused. You see a lot of artists, man, being connected to the Young, young Dolph situation, dog. And it's a lot of dudes. My bad, I was reading something I wrote down for this video and something was blurred. But it's a lot of artists that was next to this man. You hear me? A lot of artists that was cool with this man, done been in the trenches with this man. And it's like, Damn, bro, a lot of these dudes looking wild suspect. A lot of these dudes, you know, they going on live video bragging about this as I got to show y'all already. We, we heard the whole thing. We'll be listening to that again. Or y'all can watch the other video I uploaded with the full snippet. You feel what I'm saying? But it's too many shaky things going on out here, dog. You got to watch your dog. You got to watch these folks out here. These folks is tripping, and they taking you dudes out the way. They taking y'all for a ride, bro. Now, these supposed to be alleged pre-artists, right? A lot of them, a lot of them connected to each other and you seen the finessing, the juking. It's a whole lot going on to make you think, was these, is even his little partners, bruh? Because the target thing get a little bit brazy here. With what, with what we about to show next, it's like right here. You see Cuz got all the guap on him, but maybe he worked hard for it. I don't know. They got the targets on the video. You know, and bros is going brazy to the point that even if he wasn't the alleged hit or whatever, just based off what they doing extra out here for the clout, niggas already probably gonna come see about them. Just for that, now you look at the emblem on the hat over here, you feel me? Then you're gonna look at the emblem on the hat of the actual shooter on the video, and it's like the internet undefeated. They don't match the, the hats, they don't match everything the folks in them out here, bro. What more can you say about what the internet is? You got some real detectives out here, dog. And these detectives gonna let the world know that such and such is the niggas that's guilty, bro. At least that's why I take from it, bro. And, and Young Dolph, man, I, I I don't think he couldn't have seen it coming, bro. I think like when you give love to people, that's what make you get a little bit too comfortable. You give a lot of love and you think folks in them is rocking with you, bro. And you can see how Cuz over here got his pretty chain on, you feel me? And it's just seem a lot of back door activities. Nigga, I'm gonna call this thing the front door. Niggas don't really try to go through the back door no more. They going through that front. And they wrote, I I mean these waters. I don't know what he's, okay, I see what he said. He said, I'm in these waters, but I don't know how to swim. Got all these problems, but I don't know how. You dig, bro? Dudes is letting y'all know about what they riding with, what they going through, bro. And you see the pre-chain over here, bro. They, they on JoJo Splat tail, dog. Like, dudes ain't letting it go. Dudes look at him as a dude who's responsible, allegedly. Straight, straight drop got his own situation going on, bro. And we don't know what's going on, bro. The whole thing... It, it, it's terrible right now, bro. You dig what I'm saying, bro? The whole situation. Now, I'm seeing a whole lot, a lot of, bro. 
and I'm gonna go to the world with my feelings and opinions as far as stop saying big soldier is connected next to this dog situation. You did what I'm saying? It's disrespectful to the rap. I'm looking at soldier, I'm looking at these artists, bro. A lot of things ain't connecting, a lot of things ain't making sense, bro. <laughs> What's up? So don't fall out there. Like what's in a big double RK Friday? See big double RK Friday. Double RK Friday. You hear you hear what I'm saying? This make you think, do he got beef with Dolph, bruh? Like why would you even say that statement, bruh? Like Bush and Tell a big double IK Friday. Mr. Walking him down. shit I went through, you know what I'm saying, all the pain shit, all the shit just taking this shit out um, it's so much shit nigga went through, bro, and like you gotta take the shit out somewhere you gotta let it out somewhere, you know what I'm saying it's like, I chose to let this shit out of my hustle, like, I'm gonna hustle hard so I can get as much money as I can so I can take care of everybody so people won't have to go through this shit, so people won't have to go through not having shit or looking at everybody else having fun and you ain't got shit, you know what I'm saying, like it's just a part of the struggle, bro. And it's like, I just always been like, man, I'm just helping many people I can. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I done helped so many people, bro. I don't even realize how many people I done You don't even remember. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. real talk. It's like, even with someone like, like my boys, my niggas, the young niggas and shit. Like, nigga be like, bro, you had bought me these shoes, bro, when I was in uh, fifth grade, fourth I grade. I forgot about that. I ain't <laughs> no <laughs> like, real like, shit. On, on, real <laughs> shit. Yeah. They like, be like, damn, you for real? Like, and I, I it's like, no cap. I, don't, I swear to God, bro. <laughs> yeah, no like, shit. I just forget about the shit. You know what I'm saying? It just be like, I ain't do I don't to tell know, nobody. bro. I ain't do this shit to tell mm. nobody or to remember or hold your head. Not for no Instagram shit. Not for business is business. You know what I'm sure. saying? Like, I might wake up tomorrow and be like, man, I'm finna get ready to do this deal just because it makes sense and I'm finna use this shit to do something. You know what I mean? Either way it go, I ever do a deal, that shit gonna be in my favor, it's gonna be how I want it. I'm gonna keep all my masters. I'm still gonna be independent, just I'm gonna have a partnership. So with independent, you saying like, when you when your shit go to radio, you spend your money on radio. Exactly. When your shit got now, all your marketing money, all that shit coming out your pocket. Man, I'm finna blast a new single this week. God damn it. Mm. Psh, nigga. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, real talk, bro. Like, it shit, it is what it is. So it's just so, like reing up though. Basically. You look at it like reing up, like being in the street. Like. It take money to make money. Fact. You know what I'm saying? Like gamble big. But I, I always gamble big. Like I ain't always gamble on myself. I'ma gamble big as a motherfucker. Like I don't give a damn. Cause I don't supposed to be here. How I look at that shit. I don't supposed to be here, bro. Where know they know came I mean? from? Like you came in the gang thing like that, or you when you got in, you realized, fuck that, I'm gonna do it independent. I came 
it added to that shit like a motherfucker. Mm. But it's always about what you do around that shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's yeah. it's always what you do around that shit. You know what I mean? Because even with behind that, like preach was cool, but I feel like get paid made me even more like 